Hello and welcome to Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB up your periscope. Oh damn it, I've dropped my headline. Hang on, one moment. Ah, oh, here we go, focusing on Trump. Except I looked at that and I thought, hang on, that's that makes me uncomfortable. That seems like too many yeses. But then that doesn't seem like enough. That looks like focusing on on on, on Trump. Focusing. I asked the internet. I got. I got mixed stories, confusing, conflicting opinions about how many S's there should be in focusing. Let's let's just move on with the story itself. Uh, this is him in Golden, Colorado, um, and I wanted to focus on Trump and on what he was saying, but my eyes were drawn to the very elaborate saddles and hay bales in the background. He seemed to be in some kind of bondage and discipline den there. Uh, Maybe some whips there as well. Certainly riding crops. So that was an interesting choice of venue. And like I say, I don't really know what he was talking about because I was just looking at... Wow, look at that. Anyway. Just, you've got to be careful about what you have in the background. You know? Anyway. Uh, hey, they, they, so they've got this uh, free trade thing uh, with uh, Canada and Europe. Uh, it's... But I'm now again. I'm getting. I'm getting conflicting. We've all agreed that this is what it's called. But some people are calling it CETA. Some people CETA. I haven't heard anybody calling it Keta or Keta yet. But it's probably only a matter of time. Can we? Can we come to some agreement on that, please? So much confusing stuff around. I just want definitive answers. Uh, let's t turn to numbers instead, and, and let's analyse these meth trends, because uh, figures released to News Talk ZB uh, show that the quantity of meth amphetamine being intercepted by customs has increased more than 35 times in the past few years. That's right, in 2009, a little under 10 kilos of the Class A drug was seized, but by the end of August this year, more than 357 kilos have been stopped at the border. So, theories. A, uh, we've just got way better at seizing meth. That's uh, B, uh, obviously what they'd like you to believe is that they're just importing heaps more. Or C, uh, the guys at the border, uh, because they've been exposed to so much meth, are just working more efficiently than they ever have been before. Anyway. D. Uh, they just weren't very good at recording these statistics back in 2009. But now they've got apps and smartphones and stuff. It's real, all in real time. I don't know. And finally. Uh, sadly, no loss of life so far uh, with the Italian earthquakes. I say sadly because... That's certainly the tone that comes through from the various media outlets I've been watching and listening to uh, over the last uh, 24 hours or so. Every time they have these earthquakes and the buildings fall down, it's like, oh, death, death, ah, oh, no death, nobody's died. God damn it, this isn't as big a story as we were hoping for. Shit, why can't some Italians die in these earthquakes? So we've got a proper story, but no loss of life. Sorry, not really a story. Move on. Poor news networks. Hi, Russia. Bye, Russia. That was the end of Glen ZB TV. Thank you for having me at your Russian periscopes. I'll see you back here again tomorrow.